everybody, it's Miss Audrey from the Fairfield County District Library and today we're doing science! Yay! So, um, I had a little bit of difficulty figuring out exactly how I wanted to show you today's little demonstration. So, I'm going to walk you through the first part and then I'm going to show you the end result. Now, we've all heard about how to make a volcano at home using baking soda and vinegar. Today we're talking about um, it's a similar chemical reaction only stretched out longer over a longer period of time so that you can play with it all day long. So to set it up uh, you need a relatively small amount of baking soda you can use however much you like and then you want to dissolve it in really warm water, cover it, stick it in the freezer, um, for six to eight hours or even overnight, depending on how much you use. For a little bit of an example, I used about one third cup of baking soda and it took me about this much water to dissolve it all the way. And then this froze overnight and it made me this much frozen concoction here. And the idea is, is that you make fizzy ice. And it's a very small little chemical reaction. It makes very small little fizzy bubbles, but it looks really cool and it looks really pretty and it lasts for quite a long time. So this has been freezing overnight. It'll take a really long time to thaw. If you want something that'll melt quicker, you can use less baking soda, less water, use a smaller container. So let's take the tin foil off. You can cover it with plastic wrap too. Tin foil is just what I had on hand. There we go. As you can see, this is an old Twizzlers container. We in the children's department love our candy. I'll wipe off the inside here so maybe you can see a little better from where you were. And ta-da! It looks kind of like an iceberg. So, the reaction, like I said, is very small when you dip your vinegar in. It looks cooler if you use colored vinegar. So, I put in a few drops of food coloring and then white distilled vinegar. And let's see here. Mix that up just a little bit better. There we go. This is a purple color vinegar or, or food color. Drip it in there. And then we'll try some blue. And as you can see, it's already fizzing up. And you can hear it too. I don't know if you can hear it over the iPad, over the internet connection, but it's already making a pretty cool, so it's already fizzing. And if you don't have an eyedropper, you can also use a spoon and just splash it on there. It makes a pretty cool tie-dye look. But you can see how it's just fizzing and bubbling away there. You can really hear it. Now, like I said, since this is such a huge block of ice, it'll take quite a while to melt. We have another one that we made that we pulled out of the freezer a while ago that we also made in a Twizzlers container. We ran warm water around the Twizzlers container and then we dumped it in this plastic bin. And it's been melting now for a couple of hours and it's starting to melt down the sides, which is adding to the cool reactions because now the reactions are also happening down the sides and the vinegar is sort of staining the sides as well. 
and it's just sort of fizzing all over. You can make your blocks different shapes. You can hide things in your blocks. They don't even have to be blocks. You can make them ice cubes or basically any shape mold you have. As it melts, you can see the reaction a little bit better. As the ice melts, the vinegar can get to the baking soda a little bit faster. But it looks really pretty and it looks pretty cool. And it's a fun thing that you can come back to over the course of the day, over the course of the afternoon. We've all been sort of poking at it and playing at it. So it's almost sort of like an art project as you go. It's really bubbling up right there. You can also poke it. Now this is food coloring, so it might stain, so watch your clothes. It feels oddly gooey. It's a kind of a cool con consistency. It's a cool texture. Make sure you have paper towels on hand. And then if you look over here at the one that's still frozen really solid, you can see that it's having the same effect there. If you wanna make it go really quick, you can see what happens when you pour a whole bunch of vinegar all at once. So it's a fun thing to play around with. If you're having a slow day, you wanna have something that you can observe for a while as the vinegar melts the ice slowly it, and gets to the baking soda, it starts to fizz up more. Since this one's still frozen solid, it takes the vinegar a little second to get to the baking soda. This one, it, the reactions happen a little faster. Let's see what happens when I pour the whole cup over this one. Well, that reaction happened really fast. I've seen on Pinterest some people making Lego playscapes where their Lego people were escaping swamp worlds and things with fizzy lava, that kind of a situation. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do with fizzy ice. If you would like a baking soda experiment that goes a little bit faster, you can also Take some baking soda, damp it down with water, mold it into a snowball, for example, sort of a shape, and then pour your colored vinegar onto that, and it fizzes much, much faster, but the reaction doesn't take as long. This will last you all day. That'll last you just a few minutes, but the reaction will be much more, well, it'll be much bigger. So, depends on the effect that you're going for. Either way, I hope that you've seen something here that will give you something to do for an afternoon and that you'll have some fun with. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.